Hi all, welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to be talking about a series of vehicles that have been brought out at our, my, I should say, my local value, sorry, uh, Dollarama. And what they are are a series of construction trucks, a fire truck and a garbage truck. Apparently there's a few others but I haven't found those yet. But they're for four dollars. Now I initially picked up this one here which is the cement truck and I thought oh that's kind of cute then I thought to myself oh you know what maybe I should go back and get the other two that were available by the time I got back they're all sold out not a single one left and being the lunatic that I am I ran around the city for the next couple days to see if I could find the other two that were available and I finally did which is the fire truck and the garbage truck now I'm doing this video to see if they're worth four dollars as a collector's item and or as a toy how are they are they durable or are they nice just to sit on the shelf so what I'll do is I'll go through each each model individually. I'll take them out of the box. We'll take a look at them, see what features they have, and how durable they are. And I'll start with the cement truck. Now here is the cement truck. As you can see, it's by Montoy, which is I guess a brand that Valley Village tends to have, and. You can see that it's nothing too overly spectacular. You know, they have just warnings. The boxes are all pretty much similar. So we'll see. We'll take this one out of the box and we'll see how, how well they are put together. If they're worth, if they're worth. Oh, nice. Nice and easy way of getting them out an old corgi style sort of plug so that's pretty good and that's the truck so i'll get the box out of the way Oops. and we'll take a closer look at it so this is the cement truck as you can see it's actually fairly nice type of model. Now I'm, I'm curious as to know what specific truck this would be if it is a the front end looks like it might be like an Iveco or something along those lines but I mean, if you look at the casting, the casting is actually very nicely done. You know they have cast in mirrors which is nice nice little lamps on the top looks like painted on lights little details if you go all around the truck you could see it's it's fairly well proportioned now the neat thing about this is it's a pull a pullback truck now where it is is that the mechanism is in the front so it's front wheel drive but since we've got it flipped over you can see it says die cast metal on the box but the only part about it that is die cast metal is actually the cab part the rest of it is plastic now it's you know it's looks like it's fairly durable wise actual nice soft type rubber tires of course made in China it's a free there's no gearing or anything like that so when you pull it but it does have a fairly decent 
a spring back motor. And you can see the interior on it. There's a you know a decent attempt at a little nice little interior considering where where it is. But they have a nice little feature in the back that you could see that you could actually position this in one direction position the little chute in another direction to make it look like you're putting in the cement now this is it's a fairly light vehicle mind you but it's fairly nice detail, fairly nice proportion, very nice rims. Tires, like I said, are rubber all the way around. Fairly thick rubber, so it's... It looks like it would be durable. But as a toy for a little while, I guess it would be okay. But... It does have fairly decent amount of travel in the actual <coughs> excuse me in the actual movement of the vehicle there's a nice little representation of a cement truck it's pretty nice now next one I'll grab is the garbage truck and we'll take a look at that one and this one is the garbage truck. As you can see, it's dollar ammo, four dollars. The boxes are pretty much the same, other than slightly different colors to match the vehicle that it's representing, I guess. So we'll open up <coughs> the box of the garbage truck and we'll take a look at it. You can see it's same type of box and same type of clipping. So we'll take those clips out and we'll take a look at the garbage truck. This is the garbage truck. You can see that they're using the same cab all the way through the the truck series and it gives you a little bin you can see the entire back opens up so you could pretend you're unloading the garbage doesn't look like there's anything else that happens to it you can see it comes with a little bin you could unclip <coughs> the little lid which is you know quite a nice little feature but how long if it for a kid to lose it or break it probably not very long but it's fairly thick durable plastic it seems to be so you can clip it back in and you could pretend you're dumping the garbage and then later on, you pretend you're emptying the garbage with the bin. So it's the same thing. Underneath is the mechanism of the front wheels. So it's the same type of chassis, same everything. The only difference is, is the box on top. But, I mean, it's for what it is for a toy. <clears throat> if you like that kind of stuff fine it's fairly freewheeling at the front without having to pull back action so it can be driven around both all of the trucks at the same time can be driven around like that so it's it's not a very large issue that way as in durability it's I always find with the Dollarama or Dollar Tree, it's touch and go 
and how scratched up the front windows are that could be because of how it's packaged who packaged it where it was packaged <coughs> various things like that but as a nice little display toy I think they would be fairly nice so why don't I put this one away and we could take a look at the fire truck here ladies and gentlemen is the fire truck now you can see it's the same type of box the only difference is it has a little bit of different artwork on the back than the other ones but other than that same type of box same same pretty much everything so what we'll do is we'll take this one out of the box and also take a look at it It's the same thing as the other two nice little clips that take it off from the vehicle. Now as you can see it's a slightly different stance on it. And I honestly think out of the three this one would be my favorite it seems to have nicer colors <coughs> nicer proportion as in the back part matching the rest of the vehicle now it seems like the only little features this vehicle has other than the pullback action is that it has nice a little and they fold into the body as you could see that's oh that was a nice little pleasant surprise so they kind of move out of the way uh, the other side does not seem to open I guess they just did it like that and if you could see they have a nice little detail inside the actual box part. Now, isn't that a nice little surprise on the features that's in there? I mean, for four dollars, <laughs> it's <coughs> it's not. You know, it, it's it's it is what it is for four dollars. But I'm actually very impressed on the the vehicle itself and the nice little features nice little paint nice logo of the the fire department there fire truck fire transport nice little amber lights on top and again you're looking at the fit and finish of it for four dollars it is actually a very quite impressive little model i'm i'm quite generally surprised at this one the most on the features and the color it has go there you nicely close them up and it you know it, it looks very very nice nice proportion I think I would really appreciate this one a little bit more Hmm, not too bad. Now I'll put all three of them together and we could take a look at how they look all three side by side. Well, here are the three vehicles all together. I want to know what you think. If, uh, if you're watching this video and you're watching it all the way through, Tell me in the comments what you think. Do you think they are worthy as a $4 <laughs> display vehicle? 
would you buy them would you display them or would you just simply buy them like people are for toys for their kids I think I would probably rebuy these again for display pieces I mean they all have the nice little features this one of course is fairly boring with just a rotating thing and a little back part the garbage truck you have of course the the back bit which has a little garbage chute and it opens up you know fairly thick little hinges so I mean but I think for my money the fire truck is the more more nicer one that I would have just initially bought and put on display <clears throat> For, for me, I think they're charming. I think they're reasonably well done, reasonably built, solid little vehicles for either display or for play. What do you think? Do you think for $4 they're worth it? Or are they so-so? But that's it for this video. I welcome your feedback. I would like to know your thoughts. And if you like this video, please consider liking, sharing, and above all, subscribing. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.